Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to cover what you might expect to find if you're moving into the city here in Fuencarola or if you're just a tourist. I'm going to cover some of your shopping options, transportation, entertainment, attractions, recreation, and some of my favorite dining spots around the city and a few more uh, tidbits. So stay tuned. It should be good. I've lived here only four months, so I might leave some things out, but should be a very helpful video if you're moving into the city. So behind me is El Cortes Inglis, and uh, if you're not familiar with it, I guess if you're from the States, I would compare it to a Macy's, and if you're from Canada, I'd compare it to Simon's. Uh, but it offers a lot more, because you can get like uh, your optical, your eyeglasses done, you can get your hair done, you can book travel. They offer a lot, a lot of services. Uh, really nice store. They kind of carry a lot of clothing brands all under one roof, so it's quite convenient. And in the bottom of it, they have uh, Hypercore, which is kind of has like a Target vibe. So it's got like a beautiful grocery store. It also has an electronic section, TVs and gadgets and all that stuff. Clothing, some housewares like towels and sheets. So really an awesome spot. It's also got a Lorena Cafe in the bottom so you can stop and have a coffee and chill while you're shopping. Uh, it's technically over in Mijas, but like I said earlier, I just include the entire Mijas and Fuengirola as one giant city because it really is. So behind me is the Miramar Central Commercial, also known as the Mall, and uh, it's full of shops, Pull and Bear, H&M, uh, Mango's in there, JD Sports, of course Carrefour's in there, theaters are in there, there's go-karting in there, lots of restaurants, fast food, there's also sit-down restaurants, Paso Paolo, very good, especially if you're looking for Venezuelan. Um, Tagliatella is pretty good, they have a nice thin crust pizza, all kinds of options. I'm here all the time. Um, Plus it has all your mobile uh, services like Orange and all that's down here. So check out the mall if you're in town and if you live here, you're gonna be here probably quite frequently. So I wanted to talk about Miramar Parquet Commercial, which I refer to as the big box stores. Um, I'll go through a few of them just to give you an idea of what's here. So Media Market is basically like your Best Buy. Leroy Merlin is like your Home Depot or Lowe's. Kia B is very similar to an Old Navy. Of course, Decathlon and JYSK, you should be familiar with those. They're in North America. Decathlon's a giant sporting store. Uh, they have Nor Auto, which is your car garage. And of course, they have Iceland, which is a British grocery store. Uh, of course, they carry British products, but a lot of them are very similar to US and Canadian products. Great place for like, if you're looking for American style sauces, Doritos, candy, all very familiar, all very similar back to North America. Uh, and then also Dunes, or Duns, I'm not sure on the pronunciation. It's an Irish store. If I had to, there's nothing really like it in Canada, but if I had to compare it to a US store, I'd say Kohl's minus the electronics. Uh, like nice clothes in there. They get a little cafe. They have some housewares, some kitchen stuff. It's really nice. Uh, I shop there quite a bit myself. But yeah, this is definitely an area you'll be frequenting. That's why I love Fuengirola, because it has all these amenities very close by. You don't have to get, get on the train. It's just at the end of the city, basically by the highway. It's right next door to the mall. Um, so great place to come and shop. So shopping in the center is a little bit different. They do have some national chain stores like Druni and Stradivarius and stuff like that. Uh, but they also have lots of boutique shops in and around uh, Plaza de Constitution, definitely, but all across the city. So get out and walk and it's the best way. So just across the street behind me is the municipal sporting complex. Uh, it's really, really well done. They got a pool. They got like the inside courts, basketball and whatever you want to do there. I think they also run some programs. They have uh, like pickleball and tennis courts outside, uh, a running track, all kinds of like uh, track and field stuff and a beautiful football pitch. So something you might want to check out. I don't go there myself. I just kind of stick to the outdoor stuff, but it is uh, really, really nice in the center here. I'll drop the address below and of course there are tons of private gyms there's one behind me there center gym uh, they are spread out all across the city and they all vary kind of in cost and what they offer uh, quick google search and you'll find tons of them here and if you're looking for biking or walking trails i'm down by the river currently on that side over there that's all biking uh, but i mean you can walk over there plus the place is littered with 
playgrounds, basketball courts. There's a skate park right near here. Plus there's all kinds of hiking trails. You can hike up to the Bull in Torreblanca. Uh, you'll see biking lanes on the promenade and that stretches for like seven, eight kilometers. So there is tons of recreation. There will be other pools and other football pitches in the neighborhoods. There's a gorgeous one down in Los Beliches. There's pools in Mijas and all across the city. So just do a quick Google search and you'll find everything you need here. So if you're down in the Torreblanca area and you want to check out some hiking and walking paths, there's a little map here right here at Sendero Las Presas. It'll show you a few routes around the city. Uh, I haven't done any of them yet, but looks like they're quite extensive. So probably something that you might want to check out. It's right across from the Fuenjarola sign. And one more thing on the recreation front, uh, you'll see free exercise equipment littered all over the city. There's some on the beaches. You'll see them in city parks. So just keep an eye out in whatever neighborhood you live in. There's bound to be an elliptical or some sort of exercise machine. Uh, the beach has quite a few of them though. So if you head down anywhere along the beach, you'll find some. And of course, down here in Los Beliches, there is a paddle club right behind me. I'll drop the address below. I'm actually thinking about joining it myself. Looks, uh, looks kind of fun. And of course, you can't forget about the beautiful blue flag beaches here in Fuengirola. And you'll find all kinds of activities that you can uh, partake in here. There's beach tennis, beach volleyball, there's surf schools. They set up like obstacle course kind of playgrounds in the water in the summer. It's endless. You'll find about seven kilometers of promenade with beaches along most of them. So definitely if you're in the city, check out the beaches. All right, so let's talk about transportation. And behind me is the Centro uh, bus station here in Fuengirola, and that will get you your short, medium, and long distance buses. Short being like uh, Mijas Pueblo, Lacala de Mijas. You can also do your longer distance ones down to Cadiz, Estepona, and really all over. They have the option to book online on Avanza. Uh, I'll link it below. Super simple process to do that. So those buses are not to be confused with the city buses, which uh, if you were here before, they were red. Now they're all blue and white. As of January, we have a brand new fleet and the mayor has made them completely free and they changed the route. So basically line one runs uh, like west to east from the mall out to uh, uh, Carvajal. And then the other four lines run kind of south to north to do collection points in the neighborhood. Anyways, really nice new fleet of buses, so thanks, Mayor, for making those free. One block north uh, from the bus station, you will find the train station, which is the end of the C1 line here in Fuenjarola, and that will run all the way to Malaga and lots of places in between. Some of the key places that you might want to stop, Plaza Mayor, it's the big shopping district. They have uh, like Michael Kors and Prada, Under Armour, Adidas, Nike, Ikea's over there. Also, it will stop at the airport. Uh, it will stop at the uh, Maria Zambrano train station. And of course, it'll bring you all the way into Central Alameda in Malaga. And uh, currently they have a promotion on. If you put 10 euros down on a card, um, and complete 16 trips, you will ride free, I think for the next three or four months. And once the three or four months is over, they'll refund you your 10 euros. So something to look into. Even if you're only here for a short while, the train is very cheap and easy to get around the Costa del Sol. So we'll finish off the transportation category. In the city, of course, we have taxis. They're pretty reasonably priced. Uh, I'll grab one sometimes from the mall if I buy a lot, all the way into Los Beliches. It's usually between eight and 10 euros, so not too bad. Uh, of course, we have the free buses, as I mentioned earlier. We have ride sharing. Um, Uber and Bolt, uh, which I don't really ever use those, but they are here. And I also wanted to include the food delivery apps in the city here. We have a few, but the two big ones are Uber Eats and Globo. All right, so let's talk about where you're gonna get your groceries. Of course, there's the fruit and vegetable stands, there's the markets, uh, there's fishmongers, butchers, bakeries and then of course the big chains so you'll have some local chains uh like el haman spar and then you'll have some more national chains mercadona aldi little so no shortage of options of course there's also the british uh, grocery store iceland if you're looking for any british food so 
plethora of places to choose from here in Fuengirol. And when it comes to banking, you'll have no shortage of options. Literally every bank has a branch here in the uh, city, so do your research, make a choice. I'm with Santander, they've treated me great, so if you want a recommendation, Santander, but do your own research. There's tons of options here. So I'm not really gonna touch on healthcare because if you're here on the non-lucrative or the non-working residence visa, your private health insurance is gonna kinda dictate where you're gonna go, but there is no shortage of medical and healthcare services here in the city. So when it comes to getting your hair done, uh, for the guys, there is barbershops literally everywhere across the city and they all kinda are around 10 euros. I've been to about five or six, they're all fantastic. I now just go to the guy down the road from me in Las Beliches. But I know for the ladies, it can be a little more uh, challenging to find that perfect hairstylist. So I'm just gonna recommend this one here, which is where my wife goes. It's uh, Radiance by Lorraine. It's right down here in the center. Um, not too well, there's the promenade right there. So I'll drop the address below. She really likes it here. Um, so check her out if you're in town. So I'm out in front of the Ayuntamiento or the town hall. So you'll come down here. This is where you'll do your padron, your digital certificate. Also at Christmas, this is where the giant Christmas bulb is. New Year celebrations. And they also have like concerts right here in this little plaza throughout the year. There's a nice little park beside it with a cafe. It's kind of a cool spot. And there's a little church just off to the side too. So kind of a gathering area for the city and of course all your administration will be done down here and the national and local police stations are kind of just down the road off to the side of it. All right, so attractions, and behind me is Aqua Mijas, one of the most popular. It's a water park here, technically over in Mijas, but for the purpose of the video, Fuenjarola and Mijas are gonna be considered one city. So it's a giant water park. Not sure on the admission, but it's not too, too pricey. I'll try to find out and drop it below. I'll also link the websites to all this stuff below in the, in the description. But definitely, you're gonna wanna come and check this out. Currently closed, because it's January, but in the summer, this place will be hopping. And now I'm in Plaza de la Constitucion, and it, to me, this is the anchor. This is the center of the city. They'll hold uh, events here like concerts. If you come to this church, sometimes you'll walk by, there'll be massive weddings. It's quite the spectacle. Plus there's all kinds of great eateries. There's gelato, places just, just to come and sit and just hang out. It's a cool vibe down here, love it. I am always in here and uh, highly recommend coming just to this area, just to people watch really. It's it's so cool. And right beside the town hall is the city museum. I believe it's free admission. Uh, at least it was at Christmas. They had the nativity scene. Haven't been through just throughout the rest of the year, but I plan on coming back to check that out. And right behind the town hall, you will find the cinemas and there's actually a gym in there also upstairs. Didn't know that. And uh, the other cinemas, of course, are down at the mall at the Miramar Centro commercial. And about a block north from the town hall, you'll find the municipal library right behind me. And it backs on to uh, Parque del Sol, which is a beautiful little park here in the center of the city, also has a dog area. You'll find lots of parks throughout the city and quite a few of them have specific areas for dogs. So you can bring your dog. Some of them have like agility stuff in it. It's really cool, really well done. All right, so behind me is Biopark Fuenjirola, and it's the zoo here in the city. It's absolutely amazing. I've been through twice. Uh, it really well done. They have all kinds of different animals, gorillas, tigers. Uh, they have like an aviary with a bunch of rare birds and stuff. Really, really cool. Highly recommend you come check that out. I think it's somewhere around 20 euros to get in. I'll drop the price below. There is deals to be had around the city. There's always coupons and stuff like that, but Definitely something you might want to do with the kids or even just by yourself. It's really, really well done. All right, so once you get here, of course, you're going to want to hit up a bar or a pub. And I can't point them all out. There are so many good ones here in the city. But here's two on the promenade that are like sports related. You got O'Sullivan's and you got the Old Town there. Really, really good. Another good one if you're looking for a sports bar is Buster's. It's down the road a little bit. Um, the Emerald Bar right in kind of off Fish Alley. That's a great place for cocktails. Christie's uh, Irish Gastro Pub. That's another great place to eat. Had a fantastic time there. 
So there's lots around, explore your neighborhood, and if you come into the center, you will not be disappointed. And another attraction here in the city is Fling Hurola Miniature Golf, right down by the mall and the river, not far from kind of like the big box stores. So definitely come check that out. It's uh, quite nice and they have a little cafe inside also. You can grab a beer or coffee, very nice atmosphere down here. All right, so behind me is Castillo Sohail, uh, another major attraction in Anchor here in the city. It's down by the river. I actually shot a video here a couple years ago. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. It's completely free. Free to enter but check the hours before you come up because uh, it's not open every day all day but highly worth a visit beautiful views and uh, yeah it's, it's just a really cool way to kill an afternoon with some epic views of the Mediterranean so if you're down in Las Beliches and you want to check out some Roman ruins head down to this little park here it's very nice they have explanation panels all around they have an interpretive center uh, I did do a bit of a video on it a while ago. I'll link it below uh, if you want to check it out when I did a Los Beliches video. So I won't spend too much time here, but definitely worth coming down to check it out. It's kind of cool. They have some nice artifacts and they preserve the baths quite well. So if you have some young children, you may want to come down to Sold Park here in the port area in the center of the city. It's a little uh, amusement park may keep your kids happy for an hour or two uh, it's always packed on the weekends and in the evenings looks like everyone's having a good time and if you are into theater there is an english theater here in the city not far from plaza de la constitution it's salon varieties right behind me Okay, so let's talk about dining. And right now I'm standing in the heart of Fish Alley and it's early in the morning and it's January. So a lot of these places are still closed right now. But when you come later at night, especially on the weekends, it will be absolutely packed. There's all kinds of restaurants down here. Uh, everything from like steakhouses, Italian, Spanish, Mexican. There's British pubs, Irish pubs. It's a fantastic place. Sometimes street performers will come through playing music, acrobatic acts. I've seen everything down here definitely a place you might want to come check out it's full of people on the weekends and in the summer it's full literally every day it's uh, Calle Monqueo if you want to look it up because you won't find Fish Alley on Google Maps but not hard to find it's right off the promenade and not far from the Plaza de la Constitution and another popular place to eat is down here at the port there's some restaurants out by the marina there where the boats are and then back behind me uh, magpies desperate dance is fantastic if you're looking for like a British pie there's also lots of Spanish some northern European Italian wide range of stuff and of course all kinds of British stuff down here it's really really good highly suggest coming down um, packed on the weekends and of course the city has its fair share of fast food so it has your McDonald's Burger King KFC Domino's etc there's all kinds around if you need it it's it's definitely here and if you're looking for a recommendation for a really nice night out with impeccable service, then check out Charolais behind me. Uh, you can book your reservations online. It is really, really amazing. I dined here with my daughter when she came over for Christmas. You can eat out here on the terrace or you can eat out inside. And uh, they also have like a tapas kind of bar, just, just literally a couple of doors down. And it's not far from uh, Plaza de la Constitution. Highly recommend this place, really, really good. And if you're looking for a solid burger with like a little bit of a twist, check out this place behind me, La Burgesita. It is fantastic. Been there a couple times. I think it's like newer to the city and uh, they have one in Malaga that's been around for a while. It is fantastic. Top-notch service and the burgers are wild. I usually get the Togarashi burger, which is out of this world. Give her a try. It's up here in this plaza. Lots of other good restaurants around here. There's a bowl of pee over here. All kinds of good stuff so check out this plaza too not far it's kind of just off to the side of plaza de la constitution and i also have to mention la galleria it's a fantastic kind of like a little food hall they got mexican greek cocktails all kinds of different stuff little stalls kind of all around uh, like a courtyard really nice check her out if you're in here it's right across from the main post office and if you're looking for a great steak, I highly recommend Prime Grill and Wine. I was just here on Valentine's Day and it is top notch. The beef is phenomenal. Whoever's cooking it knows exactly what they're doing and the service is top notch. Highly recommend it, Prime Grill and Wine. 
So I just wanted to tell you about one of my favorite spots to eat here in Los Beliches. It's Jetty's Kebab right behind me here, close to the plaza, not far from the beach. And they do uh, like an amazing Jetty's plate. It comes with like fries, salad, a bit of kebab. Highly recommend you go with the beef with the earthquake sauce if you like a little heat. And if you show up on a Wednesday, they do chicken with a wonderful mango curry sauce. Place is amazing. I think it's family run, really good people. Check her out if you're in Los Beliches. And another popular dining option here in the city, you'll see them dotted all up and down the promenade is the Chiringuitos. They've redone a ton of them and uh, they're really, really nice. Highly recommend checking it out and that's where you'll find your grilled charcoal sardines, which is like a popular dish here in Fuengirola and up and down the Casa del Sol. And if you're like me and Sunday means Sunday roast, you will not be disappointed. It is served all over the city. If you head to the port, there's four or five places down there serving it. Fantastic. And I actually head out to Torre Blanca to Fibber's Irish Bar. Great service, great people, absolutely delicious. I'm there every Sunday at about 12.30. So check out any of the spots serving Sunday roast. You can't go wrong. So I know that was a ton of information. I hope you found it useful. I wish somebody had a shot of video like this before I moved over. That's kind of why I wanted to shoot it. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.